Hello, everyone, and greetings to you all on this Tuesday morning, May 12th. Uh, thank you all for joining me once again. And uh, for those of you who might be new and you're a digital vis visitor to these uh, devotional videos, a special welcome to you. I know that uh, a lot of my Calvary congregation is continuing to share these uh, videos with family and friends. And so thank you all for sharing. Thank you uh, for being here so that we can continue to open God's word together, even though we are apart. Psalm 21 today. And so I invite you all, wherever you are, wherever you're from, wherever you're listening to this, to hear the word of the Lord from Psalm 21. O Lord, the King rejoices in your strength. How great is his joy in the victories you give. You have granted him the desire of his heart and have not withheld the request of his lips. You welcomed him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him, length of days forever and ever. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him eternal blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. Through his unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. Your hand will lay hold on all your enemies. Your right hand will seize your foes. At the time of your appearing, you will make them like a fiery furnace. In his wrath, the Lord will swallow them up, and his fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, their posterity from mankind. Though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed. For you will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with drawn bow. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I should note that if you're watching this video today and you have not seen the video from yesterday, uh, I would like you to go back and to listen to that devotional. Because in yesterday's psalm, in Psalm 20, we had a blessing for battle, for a battle that was about to take place. And today, in Psalm 21, victory is declared and victory is celebrated. God's faithfulness is held high and the king is esteemed. So, Psalm 21 is really about the answered prayers and the answered blessing of Psalm 20. The people have triumphed, the king is victorious, and they have all put their hope and their trust and in the right place. And throughout this psalm, it was very clear, you have this huge theme of the king putting his trust in the Lord. Verse 1, right off the bat, the king rejoices in the Lord's strength. In other words, in not his own strength. Verse 5, through the victories you, God, gave, his glory is great. You, God, have bestowed on the king splendor and majesty. Verse 7, the king trusts not in himself, but in the Lord. Through the unfailing love of the Most High, the king will not be shaken. The king's hope, powerful as the king is, as important as the king is, as responsible for victory as the king is, Psalm 21 is a celebration of the king's hope and strength being in the right place and how that has meant victory for the people. In your prayers today, I invite you to exalt God for his strength, praise him for his power and his might like verse 13 does. Same as yesterday, I invite you all to put your hope and your trust in the right place. But I also want to invite you in your prayers, as I have before, to pray for our political and our medical and our societal leaders. I want to invite you to pray once again today that they would have humility. That they would put their hope and their trust in their creator first. 
they would see and know their limitations, that they would see their power and their importance in the context, in the context of God's power and God's glory. And that they would see Jesus as the ultimate king who reigns forever. People of God, may the Lord be with you.